<laughs> I do remember that we had brought up Rocky Horror Show and said, look at that. I had to buy the Rocky Horror Picture Show album. I had to buy the books. I had to buy the scripts. You're a very expensive date. I know. Just the freedom of the character, the intensity that he gave to it was so wonderful. And you could see that this would translate brilliantly into a horror character. How about that? We were focused on Tim Curry. I think he's one of the best actors that's ever come out of England. And I don't think he gets his due. Was there any time in your life when you said, I want to be an actor? Yes, I did, actually. What is there in it which appeals to you most? Uh, sort of voluntary schizophrenia, really. It's a high-risk profession, and I enjoy risks. He's created so many iconic characters that we've known through time, and they've been so uniquely different. You said that uh, being British in Hollywood means that you're usually stuck playing a butler or a villain, but that's okay with you. I think that they probably feel that we bring some kind of style to the, the job that, that we might not necessarily have acquired in the States. Yeah, but you know what I think it is about you? I think it's that you're very seductive. And you know, I thought if you were the devil, I would pay to go to hell. <laughs> his darkness character stood out from any other devil I've ever seen. Looking at his body of work, I feel like there's nothing that he can't do. And the challenge was, is he available? Is he interested? Can we make a deal? I'll kill you all. Will the network be OK with it? You priceless. Of course, everyone was. I didn't audition or even do a meeting. They just asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said, yes, I did. Tim Curry just had all those elements that he would be fearless in the role. Kiss me, fat boy. <laughs>